like to get your position on uh, Zambia signing against uh, reprimanding Russia. How do you take that? First of all, as former foreign affairs minister. Well, uh, first of all, uh, it's important to acknowledge that uh, Zambia and uh, and Russia, as well as Ukraine, have bilateral relations. We have had bilateral relations with Russia since the time that we got our independence in 1964. We have been doing a lot of things between the two of us. We have had doctors coming to Zambia from Moscow. We have had students coming from Zambia going into Russia to study in various uh, fields. We have also had uh, uh, the Zambian government has been procuring a lot of things, not even limited to military, but in a various fields they have been procuring stuff. I traveled to Moscow myself as part of the bilateral agreements when I was foreign affairs minister in 2017 to go and sign the Zambia-Russia nuclear uh, agency facility, which agency facility is already taking place along the airport road. So there are various things that Zambia and Russia have done together. Ukraine equally, we and Ukraine have those bilateral relations. Our fertilizer today is coming from Ukraine. Our oil sometimes comes from that part of the world. So the relation between Zambia and Ukraine is also robust. Now the Zambian government has chosen to, to take a side in what they did uh, yesterday. I mean, you know, having been minister before, I would want to understand the reasons which necessitated the Zambian government uh, to vote in the manner that they did because in that way then we'll appreciate the reasons that facilitated for them to vote in that way. I know that other countries like South Africa, Tanzania, Senegal, this, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, these countries uh, chose not to, not to vote but Zambia voted, meaning Zambia had compelling reasons to vote in that manner and just asking the Minister of Foreign Affairs to uh, avail the public with the information that they have so that we can appreciate the decision that they have taken before we begin punching holes in it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.